Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Lori. I am a reseller over on the Poshmark app and I am here today with a Goodwill Bins haul for you. Can't seem to stay away from that place. Um, I had a pretty good trip last week. It was like the second week in September. I think today is September 8th, so I think I went on like the 6th. Um, I go to the bins in New Hampshire. I picked up 26 pounds for $33. It was one of those uh, days that I just felt like I needed to get out of the house. I don't know about you, but I find that I'm much more productive if I say I'm going to go here to a place that I want to go at this time. I, it, gives my, it gives me like an end goal, so I get geared up and I'm very productive in the morning. So that's kind of what I did with this trip. I looked at my watch and I said at 1030, if I've listed 10 items and I've gotten all my shipping together, I'm going to reward myself with a trip to the bins and I'm going to be home before Rocco gets off the bus. And that's just what I did. So this is what I did in that time. Um, okay. I also have a few pieces to show you because I've been gallivanting quite a bit in Worcester and I've hit the Goodwill there. I discovered their Salvation Army in Worcester and yeah, I got a few things there too. So let me just get started. Um, I'm going to start with this cute dress from HD in Paris. It definitely, it has some like fuzzy issues, but um, I just thought it was so gorgeous. I loved the style of it. It's very much like a little 70s vibe to me with these beautiful shoulders. There were some really pretty stock photos on line. Um, this is a US size four. HD in Paris. Very pretty. It's like midi length, which is always good right now. Um, I also got this Talbot's Petites. I really loved the color of this and the sequins almost have like a little, they kind of throw off a little bit like of a rust color. Um, so super pretty. Um, it looks like a newer label. So Talbot's in a size small petite. Loved that. This I picked up based on style and I still haven't figured out what it is, but um, it's a double XL and it's a high low peplum embroidered. I love this color. This had so many things going for it and I still can't find um, an RN number to try to figure out where it's from. However, it's 70% linen and 30% cotton. So I don't know if this brand, if this shirt looks familiar to anyone, I would love to hear more about it because I, I did a quick research on it, some quick research and I couldn't find what it was. So um, this piece is gorgeous and I tend to do pretty well with uh, unique silk pieces that I find at the bins. They're always very light and I love to pick them up. Uh, this brand, of course, this doesn't say silk, so I'm not gonna be able to say that in my listing. But this is a popover. You could wear it as a cover-up. You could belt it and wear it as a dress. There were a few pieces online. Here, I'll show you the tag first and then I'll open it property. Marilong, M-A-R-U-L-O-N-G is the brand. Can you see that? Just gorgeous. So here it is. That's the front of it. And it's very long. It could be worn as a tunic. This is really gorgeous. I'm going to have to try it on. Um, it feels like silk. But again, I won't be able to say that. But I just recently sold a silk caftan that I found um, at Sabres, actually. It was in my last What's Sold haul for $49. So I do well with um, kind of cover-up caftan style pieces. Okay, moving on. Another piece from Talbot's. I've had some decent luck selling Talbot's lately. And this is a size 12, just an A-line skirt. Uh, and I loved like the little pattern going on here. I loved the texture of this skirt. It's really beautiful. It's got like a side clasp. I just love it for career wear and it was in a great size with a good style. So I liked that. Um, what is this? Oh, this is just a BC sweatshirt. One of my daughter's friends, um, you've heard me talk about it before, the one that got it into Stanford, brought me over two bags full of college sweatshirts because she's been literally traveling the country, going to different colleges over the past few years. And now that she has settled on Stanford, she was kind of liquidating all of her old stuff. So she gave me a bunch of them. Okay, this is another little, I'm assuming vintage piece. It's very Hawaiian feeling, almost like a little muumuu dress. It's red, 
not quite moo moo, no, not at all, because it has a waistband. So I thought this was really pretty. And I sold five vintage pieces last month that I also mentioned in my video. So I love the embroidery on this. It's again, it's another midi length dress. We're kind of coming to the end of the season, but I really thought it was worth the pickup because it was just gorgeous. My lighting's really funky right now. One of my viewers mentioned that she was sad that I wasn't sitting here with like the natural lighting and the windows and all that. So I decided to shoot this video here again. So I do like sitting here, but sometimes it's just easier to have a desk in front of me. Okay, this piece I loved. I'm a big fan of camo. And funny enough, this is the first time I've seen this brand literally 200 times. And I don't think I've ever picked up Maurice's. This is just polyester, but it is an um, infinity scarf in camo. And I love it. I love it. I thought it was really, really cute. Cute, cute, cute. Um, very lightweight. I love lightweight scarves. It's in mint condition. So yeah, I like that. Um, oh, sorry. I haven't been saying what I'm going to price things at. That'll probably be like an $18, $20 piece. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll start doing that now. <laughs> These are a Zara Basic. This is a size extra large, which was great. These, I believe, are like a cotton blend maybe the the tag is ripped off so they're either cotton or linen and they're just a wide leg navy blue pocket very easy wear i can picture this on the beach unfortunately it's september so again get those listed fast you know if it's at the bins i'm going to grab it regardless um this i picked up i've had some luck with vintage um dresses for babies and this brand Haddad Brothers, made in the USA. Anytime it's made in the USA, that's good for me. Um, it's actually like a very sheer grayish blue that's not really showing. It's in 18 months. And um, these were going anywhere from like 10 to $40 on eBay. So this will definitely get listed on eBay. Um, I'm in the, I've said this a hundred times, but I'm still thinking about it. I think I'm going to pull my kids things. Although I did sell something this weekend. Basically, if somebody likes an item from my closet that is a kid's piece, I'm like sending them offers at at least 30% off, sometimes 40 and 50 because I just want it to go. I love this sweater. Definitely want Ange to model this one for me with some high-waisted jeans. It's vintage. It has... Um, Scratches his ear, he's very aggressive, so I should probably edit this out. I must have a very itchy ear. Lucky! Lux, you good? <laughs> oh my god, sorry. Anyways, cute pink sweater, um, embroidered on the on the shoulders. More like an applique, not embroidered, I'm sorry. Um, anyways, this is really pretty. I love this. I love that it's a soft pink vintage. I picked up this super lightweight Columbia. Kind of fussy with Columbia, but this is like excellent condition. And it was a men's extra large, you know, to just, oh, I think I, I think I priced that sweater at $38, which is kind of high. I'll might drop that fast, but, um, I want to get some pictures of Angie in it. So I'm hoping that will bring up the value when it, it looks kind of cute on. Um, this I'll probably list for $25, $28 and always taking offers on this lightweight Columbia. I was excited about these. Um, these are just uh, North Face men's ski pants, and they aren't in perfect condition, but they are size medium, which my husband and both of my boys are now. Rocco's probably a small, but they have like the pocket on the outside. The issues were mostly in the hem, so you can see like right here at the bottom, there were, um, you know, it just looks like it rubbed in, there's just a little wear on the hem. So other than that, they're in super great condition. And I haven't even looked for what these retail for, but I'm guessing, I'm guessing not cheap, like probably $100 for a pair of ski pants from the North Face. So I have to look at comps, maybe $40, $50, I don't know, we'll see. Um, I picked this up and I actually put this right in the washing machine when I did my darks, but um, this is just a Vera Bradley uh, caddy, like a shower caddy, 
it's all mesh on the bottom. I think this is great for all the kids going off to college. A nice little caddy to bring to the shower with little compartments. Really, really cute, really good condition. Um, probably $20. Oh, actually, this little mark right here. I don't know if you can see it, but really cute. I liked that. Um, oh, I got a really cute Under Armour bag too that looked so much like Lululemon, but I already photographed that and inventoried it, so I'm gonna have to grab it. This was a little bit of a fail, but I like to include those. Saw this, it was 100% linen, the perfect fit, newer tag, black label, J. Crew, like all the things I love, it's 100% linen. And then when I got it out of the wall, out of the dryer, I noticed back here, there's all these little bleach spots. Like at first I just saw one by the collar. I'm like, oh, that's no big deal. And then I looked and looked and looked, and it's basically all down the back of the shirt. So that is going to be a redonate. Um, yeah, it's okay. It was light. This somebody threw back and I liked the style of it. So I grabbed it and then I saw that it was Topshop, which I don't find a lot of Topshop, although I did just sell a Topshop bra and can't find the tag here. It's just kind of a cute midi length, just past the knees. There's the label and I believe it's a size four. But this really cute little bohemian type of skirt with like the little lace trim tiered would be really cute with like a black tank top and or maybe like yeah something cropped because this seems like it would go high on your waist although with the elastic waist you'd probably have some flexibility where you put it i just thought that was really cute all right i'm almost done with my little pile whoops sorry oh i got this sweater which i really love i'm trying to make sure that the v doesn't go down too low for my video but it's kind of this dip dye and it's super long tunic it's great with leggings and I wear a lot of black, so I don't tend to wear a lot of blue or navy, but I like navy, and I love how this kind of transitions from black to navy to gray, so I wear black leggings, covers my bum, it's got all the elements. I love v-neck, it's actually a medium. It's, um, I think it's an Urban Outfitter brand with the little safety pin, um, but I was really excited. It's cute and it's oversized. I featured these pants in my last video that, um, and also that silk caftan thing that I showed. Um, these are vintage Pendleton plaid pants and I saw them in the bin and I was really excited. I thought it was a, a, min, a midi skirt at first and then I noticed that they were plaid pants and then I was even more excited. Just not something you see every day. I'm sure that Jan Brady would have rocked these pants back in the day. They are lined. The tag is off. It actually says a size 12, but these are small for a 12, but that's how vintage sizing goes. Um, and I also mentioned this in my, my video. Um, I did a video about um, my strategies at the bins, so I will link that below. Um, but yeah, there are a few moth holes on the back that I'm either gonna stitch or more than likely just disclose and then sell them as is. But I thought they were really cute. Um, I also showed these couple of things in my video. This is just a Brooks Brothers tie. I liked that they were horizontal stripes. I thought that that was different. It was in beautiful shape and it wasn't the, um, it wasn't the, I think it's 347 or 386, whatever that number is. That's the outlet brand. This is the actual store brand. So I liked that. And I also mentioned in my last haul that I got this sad little american girl doll there's this guy brian at the bins who's a sweetheart who um i don't really know him so well but if i see things that he likes i toss him his way and he was holding her so i was asking him a couple questions about her and um and he said oh i'm just holding her for a friend who i'm not sure is even coming he's like do you want her so i said yes um I did work at, she's very sad looking, but I just want to explain a little bit. One of the very popular things to do with American Girl dolls, if you want to Google it, is people restore them, they re-wig them, they use different parts, like say the dog got a hold of a foot and ate the foot, some people will just replace a leg. Um, her torso happens to be in like extremely good condition and she is a pleasant company doll which um, American Girl Doll um, started out as a catalog company and it was owned and founded by Pleasant Roland um, who sold to Mattel. Um, it might be 2000 when she sold to Mattel, around that time. The company was founded in, I wanna say 1986 
And so I think this is Kirsten, although she could be one of the Just Like You dolls um, because Kirsten had a little more wave in her hair. But she's definitely one of the older dolls. These dolls are definitely sought after. And um, I will definitely list her as is and put in my description on eBay, you know, TLC, American Girl, Pleasant Company, Four Parts, um, that sort of thing. So um, anytime I find American Girl stuff, I get excited. And I have yet to find a doll at the bin. So I did not find her, but someone was nice enough to give her to me. So I'll probably list her for $35 or best offer on eBay and see what she goes for. I'm a part of a lot of American Girl groups um, on Facebook, and there is a vintage group that is always on the hunt for um, dolls like that to fix up. Okay, I'm filtering through a couple things that I found at other stores that I'll talk about later. Oh, I love Harry Potter, and whenever I see cute little shirts, I grab them. So this is just a little Hogwarts shirt, high-low. I love that it was green, it was a different color, it's a size small, it's light as a feather, so always a great pickup. Um, these tend to do well for me. So this did have like a little bleachy spot right here, so a bit of an issue. But um, as you know, or may not know, I love to pick up polo Ralph Lauren. Um, anything that's polo and has the horse, I like and these quarter zip sweatshirts do pretty well. I mean between $25 and $35. They're a little on the heavier side but um, when I find them in decent condition I pick them up and again this was oh this is a large I thought it was a medium but they tend to shrink up so sometimes they just look a little too short or boxy but I happen to get this and um, this at the bins and this is also a large and this was in really good condition thinking about maybe lotting these up together. This is just a thermal, but I thought if I put the thermal with this and maybe lot them up for $35, that would do well. So yes to Polo Ralph Lauren. You know, um, do you watch Lavender Clothesline? She's so sweet and she always says, yes to Made in America, yes to. So I kind of like that when she says that. So yes to Polo Ralph Lauren. This was probably my score of the day at the bins. I was really happy because it's in immaculate condition. And I've talked about this brand before and we're coming into the season. I still have to, um, it's already been washed and hung, but uh, there's still a couple fuzzies I need to get off. But there's no pilling. This is the logo for the brand Ibex. Don't mind my dust and lint in the sunlight. Um, but this is um, when I, oh, I wish I had the name of it. If, if when I'm editing the video, I find the name of this specifically, I'll list it. But the original retail on this was is $175. And it, it looks to be a current brand. I saw it in a different color um, on sale for 105 at like, um, oh, what was the name of the store? It's, it's like an REI sort of outdoor store. But here's what the label looks like, Ibex. It's merino wool, it's men, it's in absolutely beautiful condition, and I will probably start this at $60. Um, I think I've sold three Ibex, two Ibex pieces. I have one that's listed now, but I listed it in the heat of the summer, and I also listed it pretty high. It was a piece that I purchased at a um, estate sale, uh, and that hasn't sold yet, but I have sold two pieces, and the first two pieces that I sold lasted less than two weeks in my closet. One sold in the 40s and one sold, I want to say, in the $60 range. So, so happy to pick that up. All right, this is from my other store, other store. I debated on getting this, but some of the comps were decent. And I do like sequins. This is just Victoria's Secret from their Angel line. And I did like the color and I thought this would photograph well. Comps were all over the place, literally from like $7 to $35, $40. So I'm feeling pretty solid that I could get $25 for that. I'll probably list it at $35 or $38 um, and see where it goes from there. I always pick up LuLaRoe. My theory on LuLaRoe is that the company has closed down and um, it's everywhere now because I think all of the wholesalers and the, the people who are selling it are just liquidating and donating and whatever and so it's everywhere. My theory is that I'm going to stockpile LuLaRoe and in like three years it's going to be hard to find because the company went under and then I'll make all sorts of money on the stuff that I keep picking up and not listing. <laughs> 
I will say, and I meant to feature it in my What's Sold video, I had this metallic pink slash silver vest. It was really something. Long duster LuLaRoe. New with tags? I think new with tags. It was from their holiday line and it was like in a soft pink with metallic silver undertones. It was a funky piece. And I think I paid $6 for it at um, Savers and it sold for $38 in less than a month. So there are pieces that will sell. I don't know if this one, there was also a dress just like this, but it was just a solid color and it was a different size. If it were the same size, I would have picked up both and lotted them together. But I thought that the solid color was a little boring. I don't know. And I just picked this one up. Anyways, it's in great condition, extra small. This I picked up only, not even for style, but just for feel, because I, I literally couldn't put this back in the bin. It's just DKNY, Donna Karen, New York, and it's a size small. But it is a color that I love, like this blush, dusty, pinky color. And I I mean, I have felt velour before, but this is like, oh my gosh, this is like the, the barefoot dreams of velour. And it's so soft. And style-wise, I did think it was kind of cute. High-low, kangaroo pocket in the front. I think someone will pick that up. Um, 25, 28, 30-ish list, we'll see. This is a skirt from the brand Caché, which I'm not even sure if Caché is still in business, but I just loved that this was so lightweight, three-tiered, stretchy, comfy, in a medium leopard print, um, probably cost less than a dollar at the bins, and the brand is uh, somewhat unique, definitely has a following, so I was happy to grab that. This is, I'm gonna grab a couple things up here so we don't keep bending over. Um, this was a random, this was probably the most random thing I picked up. It's just a t-shirt. I liked it for style and it said pierce the veil. Um, and I, so when I looked it up, again, these comps were maybe between $8 and 20. So I really shouldn't have picked it up, but I thought it was cute. And it was a hot topic brand which is not a store that I follow very off often, but like, I think there's like some like gothy fun sort of clothing. And I thought it was cute. I liked that it was cropped. The sky under the sea. That was a fun graphic. Someone will like that. This I thought was cute. It is plus size. The brand is Blue Island and it's a well, it's size extra large. Again, it's like at the Swiss dots, super stretchy on top. This is very much my style vibe. Um, and it's got the tassels at the bottom. It's a beautiful cover-up um, and could also be a really cute tunic if you wore like a white tank top underneath because it is relatively sheer. I see a little flaw on the back that I will list. I don't know if you see, it's just like very pale flaw. Anyways, cute, extra large, maybe $24 on that. Probably get somewhere between 15 and 20. This is in very good condition. It's a Victoria's Secret, uh, like sexy sport. I love the polka dots on it. And it is a size large. It's got the built-in bra and it's got like the Y back, great little workout tank. And I love the polka dots, that's different. I usually don't see polka dots at Victoria's Secret. This I picked up because I've been seeing this. I've been starting to follow more fashion bloggers um, and there is this trend, I think, not my trend, but cute young trend, uh, where people are wearing slips as, um, as skirts and they're styling them with everything from like band tees to sweaters with belts. And you don't really see slips out there. So this is like a powder blue. It's a vintage made in the USA slip. And um, it's got this, see how the slip detail goes up in the back. I figure people could wear it on the side. However, they, well, maybe not the side because it's got seams, so that would definitely go in the back. But it is, would fall below the knee or just at the knee, depending on your height. And I thought that was really cute. So I'm gonna give this a try since I'm getting crazy with vintage stuff. <laughs> we'll see. Um, this is a Harley Davidson t-shirt from the Grand Cayman. Really cute. Comps weren't fantastic on this, but um, you know, $15, $20, I'll take it. I got these shoes. 
Um, I put these right in the wash because they were kind of dirty and they're still just about a B minus, I would say, but they are Tom's and it's like a rhinoceros. I thought it was an elephant at first, but it's a rhino, which is very unique. So um, there's the Tom's. These weigh nothing, so I always get them at the bins, really nowhere else. I'm um, not seeing the size, they're rubbed off. They look like they're like a size six and a half, seven. So we'll have to see. Um, I picked those up. I also got a really cute pair of dance goes. The dance goes and that Under Armour bag. I don't know if I'm gonna come back to show you those or I might just like put them up here if I get motivated because um, those are already inventory. This is, my mom does all my packaging as I've mentioned before and it's Sunday as I'm filming this video and I know that my mom is gonna want to um, connect today and so I wanted to film all this stuff so I can give it to my mom to package after I film it. This is a green Old Navy trench coat. The comps were anywhere between 15, 20 and $35. Um, I did watch a fashion blogger lately that said that pistachio was a color for the fall. Um, I don't know if this is quite pistachio, but it was close enough for me. And I'm trying to pick up some green. I'm not much of a green person, but I've been liking it a lot and it, it is a color that is popular right now. So um, I do pick up good old navy coats and they do just fine for me, especially from the bins. So that's a size medium and I'm hoping that does well. And I'm going to wrap this up with one last vintage piece, which I think is absolutely beautiful. And I definitely need someone to model this for me. It has this, uh, this crocheted like lace very bohemian style. Um, this almost reminds me of like a guinea sacks dress, but obviously guinea sacks is um, pretty much, I think usually just cotton. So there is, I can't see what the brand is on this because it is completely gone from the label. And this is tiny, very thin. I'm not getting a size. Oh, it actually says me medium large, which is so crazy to think that look at this, medium large, are you kidding me? I wasn't even sure this was gonna fit Angie. Anyway, look at this beautiful dress. It's so pretty, such a boho vibe. It ties in the back. Um, I guess it's possible that it's like, even like a nightgown, but I don't think so. I think this is a real dress. It's like a polyester, there's a zip in the back. That works great, I think, <laughs> yes. Um, it's kind of this periwinkle grayish. And anyways, it's so beautiful. Um, and it's got a V-neck in the front. And so yeah, that was, that's everything that I got at the bins, but I wanna continue on and I'm gonna show you just some quickly some of the things I picked up at the Goodwill stores and the Salvation Army in Worcester. Um, okay, so this, this was half off day at Salvation Army and it's a cartonier uh, from Anthropology. I, I, I debate it because I feel like this looks like it's an older style, but it was $4.99 and half off. My baby boy's getting so old. Um, so this was like $2.50 for this jacket. So I'll probably price that on the lower side. Um, this, I loved these and the comps on these were really good. These are Club Monaco pants. Um, do I still have the tag on these? No, I think I paid $5.49 for these. And they're just a cropped gingham style in a size six. And I think I can get like $35 for these. Um, the comps were pretty decent on that. I liked it. This belt I paid $1.99 for at this really fun thrift store that I went to in Ashland. Um, it's not the typical one that I've been to, uh, but I definitely have to go back because I was limited on time and they have really good pricing there. Um, so anyways, it's just a Betsy Johnson belt, but I like that it's got the leopard and I do pretty well with Betsy Johnson, but for $2, I'd be happy with like a $15 sale on that. Um, I also got, I only have one to show you here, but these, 
Um, at the Goodwill store in Worcester, I did pretty well. Um, there were two racks that rolled out new and there was the sweetest employee. She saw me kind of lurking and I'm like, do you mind if I peek? She's like, no, 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 come on over. So every time she'd come over, I would kind of glance at her from a distance and I didn't, I, I don't like to like jump on these poor people when they roll their stuff out. But she's like, come over or she'd go, Psst, I have a new rack. And she'd like call me over. Well, on that new rack, I picked up a $5 Burberry um, polo shirt, long sleeve, that already sold, it sold in a day. I listed it for $65, and then, excuse me, I accepted a $55 offer on it. Maybe I'll put it up here, or you'll see it in my What's Sold video. But it was gray, and um, I was super happy to find that. And then on another rack that came out, I did really well with men's. There were two size medium um, J. McLaughlin uh, quarter zips. And these retail for like $145. And I'm hoping to get like 30 or 40. I got this one, which is a Pima cotton. And then the other one, um, I believe might be a little bit of a wool blend. But the other one's like a red color. But both great, both size mediums. And that was a great pickup. Um, so I got those. Also, um, at the Salvation Army, I picked up this um, Budweiser jacket. This was on a half off rack, um, and this is definitely vintage, made in the USA. This is listed already, um, but they had it at $12.99, so it cost $6.50. I also got a vintage Nike one that I'm not, that I'm questioning the authenticity, and I thought I brought it up because I was gonna show you and see what you thought, but I don't have it with me. Okay, also, when we were doing our um, birthday deliveries to the shelters in Worcester, um, one of the shelters was right near the Salvation Army and it's, it, I went to it on Wednesday and I, and I wanted to go back because it's the most beautiful building with so much natural lighting. So my husband's like, you got 10 minutes because I wanted to show it to him. So we went in and immediately I just walked by this little symbol. Like I was there for 30 seconds. So this was $3.99. It wasn't a half off day. This is an older, Lululemon piece, but I really like it. If you look inside what, like you see the little Lululemon, um, I'm not sure of the size. It looks small, but it's purple. It's got a built-in bra. Um, there was also another Lululemon tank there uh, that my daughter claimed, so I don't have that in the haul. And then there was this tank. Found these in like five minutes. This, this one's really pretty. It's like the Y in the back and it's super lightweight and flowy and it has mesh detail on the side. Um, I don't know size on this either. I haven't looked yet, but anyways, really cute, probably a small. Oh, same day, I got this dress. This was the half off color. This is just an athleta dress. Um, this is just like a, a ruched side athleta. This is color gray. It's a size small, short sleeve, but it's got all the ruching. This is like a very flattering dress. I've sold this a couple times. I actually have one in black that I love. And the pick of, at that, that uh, little thrift store where I got the Betsy Johnson belt, I got this jacket, which I love. I paid $10 for this, um, but it is Adidas. And I thought this was so cool. It is a cropped jacket. Um, and it is the Pharrell Williams line and this jacket does very well and uh, Khloe Kardashian is all over the internet wearing this jacket um, but she is wearing the red version. I love that this is like a purpley color. Um, I have this listed at $80 which is really high. Um, couple sold, one I saw sold for $80 and there are none right now that I saw on Poshmark in this size and color wave. Um, so I'm definitely starting high and I think it's a great fall color. I love that it's a large. I love that it's cropped, would look so great with like a pair of uh, Lululemon aligns or like high-waisted black leggings uh, or even with jeans, but I love it. I love it, I love it. So, and it was my first time. I didn't realize that Pharrell Williams had a division on Adidas. Like I know Stella McCartney and there have been some collaborations, but um, I didn't know about this. So this was new to me. So that is everything. 
um, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this Goodwill sla Goodwill Outlets slash Goodwill Salvation Army little thrift store in Ashland Hall. Um, I've been having a lot of fun. This week is the kids' first full week of school, which means I need to get busy. I need to get down to business and list and list and list. So that is my theme for this week. Um, I am going to uh, Savers with my friend, the Raffaella, the Bins Queen on Tuesday. She's in town from Pittsburgh, so I'm super excited about that. Um, but other than that, I'm gonna try to stay away from thrifting until maybe Friday of next week, depending on how many things I get listed. I'm at 924 listings, so today is Sunday. I wanna have a thousand before I go with um, Raffaella. So that means I have roughly 75 that I need to get listed between today and tomorrow so that I'm at a thousand when I go with her. I have to get all my stuff bundled up and off to my mom so she can package stuff up for me. And it's time to get ready for the busy season. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I super, I really very much appreciate any comments you leave. I try to get back and talk to everybody. Um, thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.